bandwidth for VT Talk is provided by vaporworld.co.uk. Well, hello, good evening, and welcome. And on the day that Apple launched the iPhone 5, did you know? Yes. They did that about three hours ago. They launched the iPhone 5. Tonight, we're launching VT Talk into the atmosphere, as ever you do. And tonight, not only have we got Daz, who's looking extremely sporty, it has to be said. I feel very cash the day. I'm just looking at, you know, the way the hair is and, and the whole of... You look like a Duracell battery. <laughs> <laughs> just thought I'd mention that. It's been called one of them before as Copper well. top. Yeah. Yeah. Comes with being king, I used to get the same when I was younger. <laughs> These days, not so much. Pink. Not fuchsia. Pink. Um, yes, over, over, right over that side the right-hand side of the studio, you will see in her usual position the effervescent loveliness that is Sav. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm not going to ask where that came from. <laughs> I'm just in one of those moods tonight. It's a pre-rant giggle. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. But bringing up, making up the foursome, like the fourth wheel on a car, without yes. which it will not work, and that was quite appropriate, You'll know him, you'll all know him in chat as Super 7, but he's called Doug. Good evening, Doug. How are you doing? And welcome to the show. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you very much. You're more than welcome, more than welcome. Now, I should point out before we go to the titles that we do have a little bit of an issue with Skype tonight. It's sending the audio and then the video comes scurrying after it. There's not a great we'll, rewind. <laughs> There's not a great deal we can do about it. We do apologise, but it is actually for once outside anything we can do technically to fix it. We'll just have to put up with it. So shall we stumble on with the show? All in favour, raise a hand and say aye. 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 Here we go then. <laughs> There you go, that was the titles. So here we are, mm -hmm. chatting about stuff that's topical and, and, and newsworthy and stuff like that. But first, I want to talk to Doug, Super 7. S Doug, how long have you been using e-cigs? In actual fact, it's five months from yesterday. That's not bad at all, is it? No. And just, just to keep everybody happy, what are you using? What's your favourite juice? What's your favourite battery? And have you got a Keith living um, next door? <laughs> no, I haven't got Keith living next door. No. Um, Favourite device? I'm actually... Um, I suppose the um, Vivi Nova tank at the moment. All right. Uh, it's the, the big one. Yeah, I've got it on a, an original lava tube. Um, just seems to, to hit it for me. Um, Put a new head on it every couple of days. Fine, fine. fine. Um, as for favourite juice, I, I, you know, I still haven't really found um, a mega favourite. I mix my own stuff. I've fiddled about with that. I look into my right here. I've got five that I made the other day, which I haven't tried yet. Um, but um, I'm going through this stuff at the fair rate, so I must like it. Um, RY5? RY High 5? Yes, yeah, strangely enough. Never yeah. heard of it. Where's that from? No. I wouldn't know. Never heard of it. <laughs> no, nothing about that, whatever. Not a damn thing. Yes. <coughs> Apparently, it's very good. Mm. Yeah. It's right here. Yeah, not bad. Yes, I'm not allowed to say that, though. Not at all. Yes. We're getting feedback on Doug right. talking. Apparently, what kind of feedback? Yeah. Is it squeaky or just echoey? I think it's just echoey. Right, that's all we can both hear him. So again, we apologise for. I'm getting everything wrong tonight. Yeah, it's it's kind of an echo that we're getting. Oh, you can't believe um, me. I've switched my phone off. It's done <laughs> twice. Oh, hang on. I know what it is. Doug, would you like to speak again? Yes, you are. Is that better chat? Is he just there once now? 
through. Now he's gone entirely. Now he's gone entirely, yes. Oh, <laughs> two seconds. This is this is driving me nuts all tonight, it really is. Um, <laughs> it could well be. It could well be. Ah, right. I know what it is. I know what it is. At least I think I do. I need better eyes than I've got. Doink. Right, Doug, would you like to speak now? Yeah, how's that? Any better? If I was to say that Excellent. I'm... Now, old, now, old now we're going to get hell round so that we can hear you. Two seconds. This is all good. This is this is actually all done on the fly. Yeah, chat said it can they can hear. Good, that's brilliant. And Excellent. I can hear you. So we're all okay. Shall we plow on? Yeah. Right, let's do that. Let's 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 go across to the first bit tonight. Now, if you've been Don't worry, everybody, you haven't frozen. David's just been... A I've, I've been like this since I got back. Stop Tober. During October, thousands of people across England are taking part in Stop Tober, a new, exciting, 28-day challenge to stop smoking. There's lots of free support to help you along the way, and the great news is that by stopping smoking for 28 days, you're five times more likely to stay smoke-free. Join now. Ye gods and little fishes, whatever next. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm going to rant. And, I'm, and I'm, I'm going to take the first one on this one. I usually throw it to somebody else, but I am going to rant tonight on this. This boils my P1 double S, mm. which is a new form. Mm. This is the kind of thing which is government trying to persuade everybody that they need to be doing what government thinks they ought to be doing. It's the puritanical side of government coming through. Mm. Now, I would venture to suggest that 95% of the people that are watching this show, whether you're watching it live, video on demand, podcast or on YouTube, 95% of you were smokers, smoked tobacco cigarettes. That was what you did. And you now use electronic cigarettes. And yet... Still, even 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 if you, you kind of you've made your mind up you're never gonna smoke another tobacco or cigarette, he is government trying to force people like you, like you were, into stopping doing something that they enjoy. It's their body. It's their right to put into their body what they want to put into their body. Government has got no right, whatever, to tell people what they can and can't do as long as it doesn't affect other folks. And yet, here they go. Pack in for 28 days and you'll pack in for life. It's got to be rubbish. Every move government makes towards getting people to pack in smoking fails in 97% of cases. There's a 3% success rate with drugs and all of the government interventions. The most successful form of stopping smoking tobacco is switching to e-cigarettes. It's that simple. You move to something like what Doug's got, what I've got, what Daz has got, what we've all got here, and you stand a 54% chance of never smoking a cigarette again without losing the enjoyment of nicotine. When I say something like stop Tober, I want to go and throttle the nearest MP. Doug, what's your take on it? Yeah, I, I, when I first saw that, I thought, here we go again. Um, no. Stop smoking, stop smoking cigarettes, but there's an alternative. Um, it's these things, you know, we, you know, we found them. Um, do I consider that I've stopped smoking? My wife says that I've stopped smoking, um, but as been said before, it's, it's, it's a change of habit. It, it's a change, um, I've changed the way I deliver nicotine to myself. Um, I also find that I enjoy it better as well, I have to say. Um, but perhaps that's the bit in me that likes fiddling about. Well, but, I'm, I, 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 totally, I totally agree with you. I mean, it, it, I never, ever intended to pack in smoking. It wasn't something that was on my radar. I purely and simply wanted to be able to smoke indoors where there was a barn. 
and what I've found is that I prefer the taste and experience from an e-cig over a cigarette. What about you, Daz? What's exciting about it? That's what I want to know. Exciting about yeah, Stocktober, nothing about whatever. Stoptober. I think, I, I think, it, I think it's an insult. Yeah. I think it's an insult to the intelligence of the people of the UK. I it's really do. Something else that um, that immediately sprung out there was the government's bringing up a statistic that's never even happened and said thousands of people across England are taking part in Stocktober. How do they know that? How do they know without having proven? <laughs> <laughs> It's one of those days to do, isn't it? <laughs> if it can go wrong, <laughs> that was a serious point you were going to yeah. make as well. I was just going to say. <laughs> How can the government derive such a statistic before something's even happened? Well, exactly. If thousands of people are taking part in Stoptober, where have they got the DeLorean from to find yeah, it? Yeah, I mean... We're in September. I'll, t I'll tell you what as well. I mean, Sav, have, you, have we got any input from chat on what we're talking about rather than vapours in space? Yes, we have. Um... Seabiscuit has said, Stoptober does not bother me. I would totally ignore this if I was still a tobacco smoker. Marky Mar says, why not have a nobody pays taxes for 28 days and see mm. how the government like it? Mm. And my two favourite comments, one from Vapeologist saying, they should have waited until Vapril. And MG Jones says, the government should have done switch timber. It would have been much more effective. Do you know, I think that's all probably right as well. And I'm going to own up for the first time in a donkey's age, I've got chat open on the iPad, but I'm not going to read it because I can't focus on it. I said, and can, can I apologise for our chroma key going slightly off there? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the, the, whole, the whole notion of all of this, yet again, it's about control, isn't it? I mean, Sav, what's your personal take on it? If I was still a smoke guy, I very much agree with Lee that I would totally, totally ignore it. And I, I totally agree with everything you said. It, it's just ridiculous. Do you know Absolutely what, ridiculous. You, you know what gets me is there are people trying to climb on the bandwagon of Stoptober left, right and centre. And please God, this works when I switch to this shot. Please God, let it work. There you go. SOS Children's Villages. Help change a child's life during Stoptober smoking oh. month. The government has announced it and blah, blah, blah. And now they're doing this, you know, if it, if it helps one child, help a child by getting into Stoptober. And I tell you something, I, I can see more and more people using this opportunistically in this way to try and jump on a certain, the, the bandwagon. And I tell you what, it, and this is a personal view, it's not a, v, uh, a Vapor Trails TV view, it's my own personal view. If I see vendors jumping on this Stoptober thing, I'm not going to think very much of them. I'm really not. Because no. I think they'll be cutting their own throats, they'll certainly be cutting ours. It, why? <clears throat> I wonder how much the government have spent in taxpayers' money on this. Just that would be an interesting statistic more than the thousands of supposed people that are going to be. Well, in, in the piece that was on the on the BBC news site about it, they were saying that it was one of the lowest cost initiatives that government had undertaken, which probably meant it didn't cost more than 10 million. All right, just not more than 10 million, just 10 million that we could have spent on more useful things. Well, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, you know, it goes without saying. Yeah, um, I would rather have seen that as a as a statistic on May 1st October than the supposed thousands of people because... Well, I tell you what, I mean, here's, here's a challenge for government. If every smoker and e-smoker, right, all of us, if we all took no nicotine in any form for the whole of the month of October, I wonder if they've worked out how much tax they'll lose. Yeah and it's over a billion pounds. And I just wonder what the hell they're gonna to do to get that back. It'll have cost them 
10 million or so to do this, mm -hmm. they'll lose a billion if everybody stopped. I mean, they're just not thinking straight, are they? Well, they'd lose thousands of smokers because we're all kill each other with the nicotine no, yeah. deprivation. Can you just imagine <laughs> the riots in the middle of Newcastle and Birmingham <laughs> and everywhere else? Tamworth would go up <laughs> like a nuclear bomb. And then the statistic would become very true, wouldn't it? Absolutely. It wouldn't would. It just, mm -hmm. Wouldn't it just? Mm -hmm. That's, it's, it's crackers, absolutely crackers. The whole thing is just lunatic absolutely lunatic doug i'm going to give you the last word on stop tour because if i carry on much more i'm going to bust a blood vessel <laughs> well you know it's it's a typical government thing initiative isn't it you know it's an idea but how do they prove what they've done how effective it's been you know I, you just sometimes i just sometimes want to just hold up my hands in the air and go I want to get off the boat, you know. Oh, oh, drives you nuts sometimes. There's got, there's much better things that can, the money can be used for. Abs absolutely. I'm, I'm just wondering whether we can get everybody together and go and buy an island somewhere where the rules are sensible. Yeah. You know, and just diddle off because I, I, I'm not giving too much of a secret away when does, when I say that does typed into one of our private chats the other day that you're fed up with this country. Oh, totally. it was today. It was today. It was today. I am so, so fed up with it. I, I just, honestly, the, the ludicrous things now that this country is coming out with is in being in other countries and seeing, like, what sense they come to. You know, you're absolutely right. If we just all bought an island and make one rules, we'd probably run it far, far better than what this country is currently being run at. Indeed. So, have we any more word from chat? Yeah, we've got a couple of comments. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. A vapologist has said, I'm more worried that they will try to report on how successful it was. Agree with Daz, how will they prove the facts? And Dougie has said, the more people tell me to uh, do this, I do the opposite. I never once did a stop smoking day. And then he followed up with, stop smoking day, how about stop nagging me, you moron day? I'm, I'm all for that last one, yes. <laughs> It's about time, I really am convinced that it's about time that people in government and people in power realised that actually we're all adults, you know. The yes. Those of us that are over 18 are actually adults. Yes. And we've got brains in our heads mm -hmm. and we know how to use them and we're finding them out slowly but surely. Follow the money, people. Follow the money. However, I tell you what, we'll take a quick promo because I've been busy and just to let everybody know what's coming up in the next week. And good evening. It's taken a while to uh, get things ready up and ready to go. But I'm here man. So uh, welcome to the next box. So there we go, I'm back in the room and not long to go now. So yeah, I was, uh, I was talking to my son and he's, he's watched me make things at Vietnam Trans TV Towers. Tonight being Wednesday night, it is time for a little one and only chat show program called PT Talk. It is the gears hour again. again. Keith was just saying if it wasn't for the titles, he wouldn't come and do the show. He loves them so much, don't he? Oh, yeah. So there you go, that's what we do and when we do it. Mm -hmm. Four nights a week of live telly, some of which works properly and some of which is like this show where it's technically going all the cock. Mm. It's my own fault for using the beta version of the software that we were using, but it worked really well last week. I wasn't here. That's why it worked really <laughs> 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 I tell you, I tell you what, my glass is empty and I need to drip into my little skull and I'll tell you more about that tomorrow. So we'll take a swift ad break, toilet break, tea break, any break you like. We'll take a quick break and when we get back, we've got good news. Good news! <laughs> it's all going to be good. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Thank you.
vaporworld.co.uk sponsors conversation on VT Talk. And now back to conversation on VT Talk, sponsored by Vaporworld.co.uk. I'm going to smack Daz. I am going to smack you. <laughs> Tell them what you said. I says you did a far better job with the adverts than what you've done with running VT Talk. <laughs> it's nice to have friends isn't it lovely to have friends it really is have you seen how many screens i've got to look at here and i've just looked at that one. i know you were just looking at that one i'm pressing all the buttons yeah I know. you said you were going to press all the buttons i'll i'll pass on that I'll yes on and you that, yeah. but we've got good news good news <laughs> we love good news yeah. look at this it says there Electronic cigarettes will topple tobacco within 10 years. That's what it says. As electric cigarettes, electric, electronic cigarettes continue to change norms in the smoking world, many wonder just how big e-cigarettes are going to become. Are they just a fad or are they here to stay? And then it goes on and on. Uh, this is in the uh, New York PR web. Um, and it, it's, it's showing all manner of growth. Look at that. Mm. And uh, it, it's a useful, useful read, yep. useful. I mean, it's a bit of a puff piece for the uh, the e-cigarette company that's, that's uh, commissioned the research or commissioned the piece. Uh, it's called EnterTheCabin.com. Never been there, not going to go. But nonetheless, it's there. Now, 10 years' time. Doug, I'm going to put you on the spot. Where do you see e-cigs versus fags, tabs, smokes in 10 years' time? In 10 years' time, um, I honestly think that um, e-cigarette usage will be a lot higher than uh, tobacco usage. Um, I also see the fact that the government are going to rub their hands at the tax that they're going to make on it as well, unfortunately. Uh, but I, I definitely do think that it's the way... I was only talking to somebody today um, with an e-cigarette in my hand and was saying, I'm starting to feel a bit rough at my age how do you get on with those things so I, I think more people are getting to know about them um, and the usage figures will go up indeed does what's your take <clears throat> i think um when we had a similar conversation a couple of weeks ago i, I do recall saying um that in years to come i didn't see how many years and i couldn't see how many years but to see um, like a packet of cigs and an electronic version run parallel. You're doing it again, aren't you? I'm sure you're doing this deliberately. It's always when Daz is talking. It's only when he's on. Are you finished with the buttons? Yes. <laughs> Carry on. No, um, I do remember saying that, um, saying in the shops, tobacco at one side and an electronic cigarette equivalent right next to it yes um so it's really surprising that article 
I tell you what, I mean, I was, I, I had to go out the other day, as you do, and get a little bit of shopping in, as you do. And I dropped into the uh, the Tesco garage. Mm. Well, it's a garage. It's got a Tesco. It's not actually. Yeah. Do you know? What I, I know. Mean? I know why that is. Tesco. But, yeah. I know why why they do that, but. Right. Well, anyway, mm -hmm. when uh, when it was first announced that ten motives were going into Tesco, mm. I happened to be there, for, and I, I asked about them, and what I got was, and I apologise to everybody that's not living in the northeast. Hey, so not even that anything about that hill. <laughs> which basically translated means we have not yet been informed that we will be stocking such items, if you don't understand. Um, and I was in the other day, and there they were, sat sitting out where you could see them. All right. You couldn't finger them, mm. but you could see them, mm. um, which I thought, hello. And, and Doug, you were saying that uh, locally to you, there's been loads of reps about. Yeah, yeah. Um, my local shops were telling me that... Um, that they've had some e-cigarette reps um, going going around trying to get them to stop their stuff, and in actual fact, um, a couple at the top of the road from me are now selling um, e-lights um, stacked right on the top. You can just see the USB charger, and you, you, you know it's behind behind the counter, and you, I think most people are going to go, "Excuse me, well, what, what's that over there?" Because there's, there's no advertising above it, but it's getting more mainstream. Do you know, for, for a little minute there, I thought you meant they were up with the men's magazines. <laughs> I can never reach that far. <clears throat> but me, me neither. I've, I've got no idea what's in any of them. You, you, I've, no, I'm totally innocent and pure in that respect. Just Stop out it. of curiosity, with them 10 motives, whereabouts uh -huh. were they in the store? Um, straight behind the till. Next of the cigarettes. Uh, no, with the um, this gets me. What's there? There, there were. Um, how can I put this? There was condoms, right. but they weren't fulfilling cartos with. <laughs> there was contraception. Is that the word? There was con there was contradictives. Mm. There were those gas things that ladies put in their hair curler, straightener, grubby, right. mess abouty things with. Right. Razor blades, which by the way are massively overpriced. Um, Disposable razors, coin cell batteries, right, and ten motives. So it's like your everyday essentials. <laughs> <laughs> With ten motives in your everyday. I like that. I really like that. I can concept. just imagine just going in and have twenty condoms and a ten motives, please. <laughs> oh, go on, I'll have some Gillette razors while you're at it. Oh, you know, you're putting a picture in my head that I don't <laughs> want. Sav, have you got the mind bleach handy? <laughs> I know I'm keeping it all for myself. <laughs> you might need it. Are we I getting know. much from chat on this? Um, we've had a couple of comments coming in regarding the 10-year thing. Dougie has said, we shall see after March, see what the MHRA come out with. Moonlit has said, e cigs make perfect sense to me given the era we're in. Tobacco smoking is quite an archaic nicotine delivery method and we're in the electronic age. Mm. And Condor has said... Um, in 10 years, I think there will be no higher than 4.5% nick juice and various bits of regulations allowing Big Pharma to run the show completely unless you import. That last bit, Dougie and I were having a chat about this type and chat type thing earlier on today. And, and I think, actually, that's not far wrong. I have the deep and abiding suspicion that come March, there's going to be some form of regulation and that's going to really be looking to force everybody onto fixed dose cartomizers, a la IntelliSig, where you get a cartomizer that's got 45 mm -hmm. milligrams of nicotine in. And I think the maximum purchase size is probably going to be 60 milligrams in total of nicotine, whether you get it in a cart or it's in mm -hmm. cartridges or, or however it comes. I, I have the horrible feeling that's the way MHRA is going to be looking to go. So, you know, to go and get yourself a big bottle of cheesecake from Paula might prove to be difficult. Mm. So we, we kind of came to the conclusion that after the turn of the year, there might be a bit of a stockpiling exercise going on. Yes. So my current six litres will have to be multiplied by at least 10. How much mm. juice do you keep in, Doug? Um, not a great deal. I, well, saying that, my wife, my wife would disagree because there's little bottles scattered all over the place. Um, but I suppose if I was to measure it out, Oh, 
500, something like that. Not a great deal, to be totally honest. No. And how, uh, long, would, how long would that last you, 500 mil? Most probably about a couple of months, I reckon. Right. Um, I'm still experimenting with what I like at the moment. At five months in, I still haven't hit that sweet spot of that's exactly it. Uh, plus, I still like trying different things. So, you know. Uh, but I, 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 I have looked at saying to myself, buy, you know, buy in bulk because you do save money. Um, but I haven't just found that exact one that I want to yet. Right, right. I think there's more coming in from chat. Is there, Soph? Yeah, there's a comment that's just coming from Screwbag who says government regulation will be in favour of some big pharma company brand. Um, Dougie's just said he will be stockpiling come the new year. That is a fact. Right. It's an interesting thought, is this? I mean, I, I, I hate to be a harbinger, harbinger of doom, if that's the right word, but it does seem to me that... Uh, we're looking at the potential for regulation, and I think, you know, government's government, they're not going to want to pass the chance up to do it, are they? I, I, I agree, but if the government do such a thing, I think that we have to remember as well that it's not just going to be a case that the MHRE are going to bring out whatever it is decision that they want to make. They're going to have a date of when to do it, so I don't think it'll be March, I think it'll be a set date in the future. I must admit, I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we get the same deal as the herbal medicines mm. got, mm. or the, the, the herbal products, uh, where they got seven years to get the house in order. Yeah. And if, we've, if, if that happens, then this electronic cigarettes toppling tobacco within ten years, it's going to happen, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's just not, not going to happen. Yeah. Um, well, I've just had an interesting comment that's just come through from chat. Moonlit's just said the tobacco companies won't want to give up control to Big Pharma. Mm. Exactly. So that's an interesting point. Well, it is, because Nico Ventures, mm -hmm. um, which is uh, a subsidiary of British American Tobacco, have something on the cards. We, we think it's the nicotine pyruvate device that Murray Lugerson was involved with. Um, and they are going to get, they're going to seek some form of, of regulatory approval for that from the MHRA, they say. Mm -hmm. and, but that's big tobacco entering the fray. And we know Lorillard's already yeah. in bed with Blue. Uh, we've seen that um, Marlborough and RJ Reynolds, and they're I both think, entering the fray. And um, I think they're, they're not actually entering, but I think Imperial's looking at other methods as well absolutely i mean so the, it, i think we probably need to start adopting the term that was used last week i remember in last week's show do you remember Sav, the, the uh kazar document where they kept on referring to thr mm -hmm. tobacco harm reduction mm -hmm. as a method of making the world a better place for yeah. want of a better term and you know everybody talks about nrt and all sorts of other tla's I'm just wondering whether the time is right to start referring to e-cigs and pandas and mods and everything else as just THR, as a generic coverall term. Mm. I wonder if that would have any significance. I mean, I'll tell you what I can, can see happening is the, uh, the government um, banning the sale of um, juicy bottles and only being able to get hold of it in pre-filled cartomizers so they can control the amount of nicotine that's in there. I, 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 I agree absolutely 100%. I think that's exactly what they will look to be doing. And you've, but, and you've hit the nail right on the head with that word control. Mm. Go back to Stoptober, mm. and it's government trying to control what we do. Now, they're supposed to work for us. You know, we elect them to go and make decisions on our behalf. We don't elect them to go and tell us what we can and can't and should and shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are they going to do next? You know, they, they've, they've got smoking and tobacco pretty much battened down. They've got as much control over it as they possibly can. Yes. They have sought, and they've made no secret about it, to denormalise smoking. And mm -hmm. they've lumped e-cigs in with this denormalisation. Because mm -hmm. if it looks like you're having a tab, 
you know, the way they say it, if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's an elephant, mm. basically. Um, they, they've, they've kind of put this concerted effort so that everybody now seems to be brainwashed is maybe too strong a term, but everybody seems to be convinced that nicotine is a bad thing, which it isn't. The MHRA itself says it's a relatively harmless drug, relative to what I don't know. Mm. But, I mean, how many of us are aware that the bad part of a tobacco cigarette is not the nicotine, it's the product of combustion yeah. that's the bad bit. Mm. That's, that's the bit that does the damage. The nicotine mm. doesn't do the damage. Mm. In fact, as I said last week, there's been some research done to say that it helps you grow small blood vessels and apparently is good for you. Mm. So, you know, that's, that's kind of good. But you, you're right, Doug, I mean, who the hell are they to say that you only need 45 milligram, milligrams of nicotine a day? Patently, if I'm, I'm getting through nearly 10 mils of 36 milligram, 45 is not even going to come close. It'll cost me an absolute packet. And there'll be can no... I, just, sorry, can I interrupt you there one sec and just bring up the point that chat have brought up, Yes. Um, which coincides with the cartos. And Mark Umar said, we'll be in real trouble if they go by the one carto equals 40 cigarettes, but yeah. if they're going to try and limit what you're allowed to have. Craigie. Yes. Yes, that's another. That is another good reason for getting uh, these um, looky likey vendors to change their tune a bit on that. I mean, if they're honest about it, that would work out probably e even more expensive than smoking. Well, I'm, I'm, I, I was going to say. I mean, if if you're looking at government says you can only have it in cartos, and you can only buy forty five milligrams or sixty milligrams at a time. Mm. You're kind of going to want, you know, if you go to a shopping mall, you want every store to be selling them so you can nip in and get stocked up. But they'll not be worried. They won't put a tax on it per se no. because the amount that they'll reap in VAT will, will make up for what they've lost in tobacco duty. Yeah. That's how they're going to do it. And that, I was, you know, Dougie and I were talking through this earlier on. Um, today, as I say in this chat, and I think that's how they're going to do it. They're going to make it so expensive to get these things. Basically, with all of this, the more or less saying you might as well continue to smoke. And I think it's very, very short-sighted. True. Very, very short-sighted. You got a take on it, Doug? I was just going to say there is one interesting um, point to that about restricting um people purchasing like like they do um aspirins and things you can only buy them in packs of 24 is that the e-cigarette market is as far as i'm aware um is one of the few markets that has really spawned internet based i can't think of anything else any other consumer product that um began its life being sold purely on the internet i.e no bricks and mortar shops so they might the government may well have a bit of a problem trying to restrict people buying stuff on the internet that way oh yeah i mean they're gonna have to well it depends on how far they're prepared to go if they decide that they'll put a ban order on then you'll have exactly the same issue with customs as we have with buying mods from the states yeah. i mean everybody knows if you're going to buy something from the states yeah. you're going to pay the duty and everything on it fine you, you, you take account of that but if, 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 if you were to buy your juice from abroad and they're honest in what they put on the box or they decide that, I'm, I'm, I assume they can train sniffer dogs to sniff for nicotine. Mm. They can tra train them to sniff for everything else. If they're going to do that, I don't know. It's, it's weird, isn't it? You know? It is. I, I really I hate the idea of government having that much control because I, it's my body. I should be allowed to do with it what I want to do. It's not up to them to tell me. Yeah. It's not up to them to tell me, you know, anything like that. Yeah. If I want to... Where are they going to go next? What are they going to attack next? Coffee? Yeah, I mean, what what I was just thinking as well, there is it's interesting that the second subject that we're brought up and we're coming back to the same conclusion, like, in regards to the government. Yes. You know, like, what else I was thinking was, like, the MHRE are the ones who are going to come back with this in March. So who, where are they going to pull the information from? And is it not right, really, that now the vendors themselves 
should be looking at a way of go of getting in and educating the people as well. Would that not make some sort of good contribution towards the MHRA to MHRA's outcome in March? Well, uh, the MHRA has to take evidence which is contemporaneous, mm -hmm. don't you know? That's a big word for means it's happening now. Yeah. Um, and they've got all these different prongs and forks that they can go at. We know that in, in two of the cases they, they won't have a leg to stand on, but there is one that everybody's ignored, and that is the if they are generally recognised to be a medical device or for a medical purpose, mm and quitting smoking has already been defined yeah. as a medical purpose, then they can be deemed so to be. Mm. And unfortunately, that's written into the statute. So where you've got forums, um, and they don't even have to be ESIG forums, mm -hmm. where you've got forums and, and posts and, and people saying, oh yes, I've got an ESIG and I've quit smoking. It's this term quit smoking, the WHO, the World Health Organization, has defined quit as meaning getting shot of nicotine. Mm. And I'm seeing posts from people now that are cutting down to quit, mm. which plays straight into the IntelliSig hands and plays straight into the MHRA hands. Yeah. But I think we've got to say that at this point in time, the stable door's wide open and the horses are 40 mile down the road. It's, it might be a little bit late. Although, again, there's a little voice inside me that says, you've never heard of these people that are posting on these forums. They're brand new users. Yeah. And you kind of wonder whether they're MHRA shills. Which is why I'm kind of wondering, and why I said before is a valid point about um, the importance now of, especially like from the vendors, of educating people on the purpose of vaping. Well, they have done right from the very start. They've, they've, there's none of them mm. make medical claims. Or very, yeah. the one, and the ones that do mm. are the ones that provide quick yeah. kits, and we just don't talk about them. Mm. We need to take a short break at this point in time, but we'll pick this back up um, when we come back with a little bit more good news. It's better news. Yep. It'll probably end up being all doom and gloom no, again. We'll be back the government. But we don't care. <laughs> We're enjoying ourselves. We'll yes. see you in a couple of minutes. Don't go anywhere. Vaporworld.co.uk sponsors conversation on VT Talk. And now back to conversation on VT Talk, sponsored by Vaporworld.co.uk. Yes, there we go. We're back, back in the room. Um, I, it, it's. I'm sure the chat's been busy, and I'm sorry. I should have come to you before I went to the adverts, Sav. I, I, I'll. I'll Consider me backside well and truly spanked. <laughs> that, that, hey. that, you can do the honours because I'm not. No, it's all right. It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> Seriously. <Ray. laughs> From chat, we've got quite a bit. Um, Say Biscuit has said, if they try to tell us what we can have and how much we can have, then it's up to us to tell them to go away. <laughs> Is that really what he typed? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's close enough. 
Vapor Man has said, if there's a 40 fag claim per cartel, will they try and sell a cartel for the same price as 40 cigarettes? Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, Screwbag has said, now figure out the tax per cartel, and if they say that one cartel is two packets of cigarettes. Moonlit has said, coffee and energy drinks don't seem unlikely when you consider they've gone after fags, booze and fast food. Or and the internet too, because apparently we shouldn't have access to adult content. Save the children and all that. And Moonlit also added, a visiting alien would be forgiven for thinking the government is a supreme species who controls us all. Indeed. Indeed. I I think we have uh, some very wise heads in chat tonight. Mm. I do appreciate them coming along and sitting live and watching the shows live. Yeah. We like our live chat room. We do. We We really do. But there's more than one way to skin a cat, you know. This is what's called uh, a segue. There is more than one way to skin a cat. Have you seen this? I'll show you it. If you can't watch our shows live, try some of these. Go to YouTube at youtube.com slash user slash TV and you can subscribe there. All of our shows are uploaded as soon as possible after they've gone out live. Enjoy watching it on YouTube. Lots of people do. Alternatively, go to Google and type in podcast vaportrails.tv and iTunes. Click on the link and that will take you to a page that shows you the Vapor Trails TV podcast. View it in iTunes, and when you get to iTunes, don't forget to click on subscribe free, and each of the shows will be downloaded to your hard drive as soon as they come out. Or you can use video on demand. Go to www.vaportrails.tv, click on vplayer, pick the show you want to watch, in this case it's the Hayes Hour, And then you can pick the episode that you want to watch from every one that we've ever done. They're all there. Under normal circumstances, you'll watch it at 360p, which means everybody can see it. It'll go full screen. You can do whatever you want with it. So there you go. Three ways that you can watch VaporTrails.tv. Subscribe and enjoy. Thanks. And of course, you can use Apple TV. Yes. Which I know you want for Christmas. Yes, I want Apple TV for Christmas. So you'll be letting Alan watch this then? Yes. Tell him again, say, Alan, I want an Apple TV for Christmas. Alan, I want an Apple TV for Christmas. There you are, you see. We're an enabling channel, we are. Mm -hmm. Yes, because e-cigs matter. E-cigs do matter. E-cigs do matter. What's that look for, Sav? I'm saying nothing. Oh, I'll get wrong, no doubt, about (laughs) spending money later, so... (laughs) <laughs> you need to buy a laptop first. Yes. Yes. You know yes. This. Don't don't open the laptop debate to chat whatever you do. Oh God, no, no. <laughs> what Shouldn't have you... mentioned that word. <laughs> because Apple's been making announcements today, does. Yes, I know, but yeah. I, I can't do anything till April. No, you can't do anything till April. No. Don't do anything till April, does. I won't. Does. Don't do anything till April. I won't. Don't chat. Don't. Don't Make tie sure. some on. Don't tie some on. Please, don't yeah. tie some on. Yeah. It would be terrible. I feel sad, Roth. It's a simple as. I didn't realise she had a rough for you to feel. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> gotcha. Shall we go for some more good news? Yes. Let's do some more good news, shall we? Let's, let's. There we go. Now then, I know a little bit about this. This is on uh, the Huffington Post. Or Huff Post. <laughs> which is the UK version of the Huffington Post. Mm. Um, and I happen to know, if you've read the Aceta blog, that they had a little bit of input with this. Yes. Now, we've, I've already put the links to all of these bits and bobs up on, uh, on the forum.vaportrails.tv so people can go and, uh, and, and have a look themselves. But I would, I would ask of you that you go and have a read because it's a it's damn a- good read, is this. Um, all about e-cigs, how they're doing, how they're growing, and so on and so forth. And it is one of the best balanced pieces I have read in a while. The only question I would ask is where the hell can you buy a packet of 20 for four quid? Oh, yes. No idea. That's fags, like real ones, tobacco fags. No idea where you would go there. 
But it's it, it's all very very balanced. It's very good. And if you know if you're coming across somebody that's not sure, I would suggest you bookmark it and point them at it. Yes. It's a very very good piece. Uh, well done, Catherine, for your input to that, and uh, well done the writer who he said scrolling quickly through, of course has the byline right at the top. <clears throat> Yes, Charlie Thomas, who apparently is a woman. Well done, Charlie Thomas. Good well, write up. Well done, Charlie Thomas. Yes. Look at that. Tories need a kill Cameron strategy. Oh, let's not go there. No. So there you go. The one question I will ask, and I always, why do they always show a bloody looky likey on these things? Have they not seen things like that? That's an e cig. Looks now like a fag. Mm. We'll talk more about that one tomorrow. But I'm. Doug, your opinion, why do they always show something that looks like a fag, Dougie? Um, I'll tell you the reason why, in my view. Because that, I've got no idea what that is at all. Absolutely no idea. In actual fact, hold on a second, it's a comeback from my past. That, yeah, um, yeah. it's actually a Chinese cigarette that someone I used to work with um, bought back from China when he went back home. But it's because it looks like a cigarette. Um, I can't believe I've still got these. They're like, um, I'm surprised the tobacco hasn't fallen out of them. But um, Hollywood cigarettes, there we go, from China. Um, but it's because they look like cigarettes. They don't know what we think of uh, a mod. They've got no idea what that is. So, packet of cigarettes, everyone knows what it looks like. Yeah, I, I, did, I did see somewhere, I can't remember where I was, I really ought to write these things down, where they were talking about somebody who had been use. oh, I know where I was, had been using a box mod for donkey's ages and had finally gone to a tube device and were accused of using something that had been produced for the pleasure of the feminine gender. <coughs> I would know nothing of this. Sav, could you enlighten us? Nope. That was it, was it? Just no. Just that no. was it, just no. You're not even going to venture a suggestion? Nope. Ribbed for your pleasure? Nope. <laughs> no. Oh, we're going back there, are we? No, we're not going back there. <laughs> we're really not going there. <laughs> not going back there. Yes, David, write out a thousand times, this is VT talk, not a hangout. Yes. This is VT talk, not a hangout. This is VT talk, <laughs> not a hangout. No, that, that, that's a good piece, is that one. Um, and there's been actually there's been all kinds of stuff getting in the news here and there. This this will be one that will be coming to a newspaper near you very soon, I would think, where the press release has gone out to say that Nicolites react to celebrity Big Brother contestants using electronic cigarettes. Leading electronic cigarette providers Nicolites have reacted to news of celebrity Big Brother contestants using e-cigarettes with an assessment on how the exposure could affect their industry, which actually is quite interesting. As a spin-off of the original Big Brother series, Celebrity Big Brother is currently in its 10th series, with the lineup traditionally including a number of smoking housemates. Okay. Often pivotal to the central conversation and activities in the house, the latest series, running from 15th of August, has seen a shift to the use of electronic cigarettes, particularly with contestant Julie Goodyear. Renowned for their dedication to industry updates and developments, oh, this is a puff piece, the specialists at UK-based company Nicolites have reacted to the news with great interest and are optimistic that the exposure gained from the large viewer figures will inspire a number of people to give the alternative a try. Managing director explains how it could give it a boost. Again, it's an interesting read, and it's uh, it's it's based on the idea that mm. because they're on telly, they get an exposure and more people will take them up. Yeah. Does? Well, it's not the first time it's happened. There's a film I think with Johnny Depp. Here we go again. <laughs> Every time you're on screen, it all goes to hell in a handcart. You're not coming on. You're anymore. not coming on again. <laughs> <laughs> There's a film with Johnny Depp. I forget where it's called, but jo I remember seeing that Johnny Depp sat on a train. Yes. Underneath a no smoking sign. Yes. Uh, smoking on a, 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 a vaping on an e-cig. Yes. So it's not not the first time, and I think um, there's a couple of other celebs that have been in the 
in the process that's done it. But I think that's answered your question as well. What the question you had before is why do you always see lucky lakeys? Well, on, on, and I think that that's like a prime example. Well, last last week we uh, I think we featured a bit on Ronnie Wood, didn't we, Sav? Do you remember? <laughs> We did. <laughs> why, why are you biting your lip? What have I done? No, it's what they, they've said something in chat. What have you said uh. in chat, Sav? <laughs> no mention from, from a particular member in chat. Well, I won't mention his name in case his other half is watching. He says, my missus wears knicker lights. They are great <laughs> for finding my way in the dark. I bet that was Kondo. It was. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just found that amusing. <laughs> this, this, is, this is too enjoyable for something serious. Is there anything else from chat aside from Condor's Mrs. Lights on our knickers? There is. There was a comment that came in from Moonlit about why they generally focus on lucky leggies or why he thinks they generally focus on lucky leggies. And he says, our more sophisticated e-cigs may look like drug taking gear to some, which could put people off. And that's very what he true. thinks it could be. It's very true. That's not a bad, yeah. I'm just, I, I just, you know, I mean, something like an ego doesn't look like a drug taking device, does it? Well, when, uh, when I had. Um a gathering a couple of months ago and we had a friend come over from Ireland <laughs> and she says, OBG oh, says I can't be taking one of them home with me, It'll, I'll get shot, it'll look like I've spoken on a crack pipe. <laughs> right, I I'm going to make it my business to get hold of a crack pipe. I'm going to go down to Washington, I won't do it tomorrow, but for next week I'm going to go and buy a crack pipe because I know somewhere that sells them. I'm not going to tell you how I know. Mm. But I do. I'm going to go and get a crack pipe and I'll show everybody what a crack pipe looks like next week. Okay. And it looks now like that. Nah. It's too, that's too big for a crack pipe. Yeah. A crack pipe just looks like a test tube with the end sawn off. Because mm. basically that's what it is. Mm. That looks now like a crack pipe. No, it doesn't. Well, I, I don't know what, I don't know what one looks like anyway, but well, I'm going to agree that's, with you. That looks now like a crack pipe. It looks more like Doctor Who's sonic screwdriver, frankly. That's what I was thinking of what it looked like. Ah, uh, well, I know something you don't know. Well, I don't have that. I, 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 know, I, know, I know a modder who is looking to make a sonic screwdriver e -cig. I'll have one of them. I would buy one of them. I, I think would buy a sonic screwdriver A lot e of people would, but I'm not... See look, look, at, look at Doug sitting there nodding. Look at that. Yes. I've, 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 seen, I've seen, seen the uh, sonic screwdriver that... A certain online retailer sells for 55 quid, and I've thought to myself, that would be great to yeah, mod. definitely. Well, let me just say that plans are afoot. They might only be 11 inches, or they might have grown to 13, but plans are afoot for a sonic screwdriver e-cig. I hope uh, they're going to make the, the sonic screwdriver noise as well. That would be even You better. just want jam on it, don't you? I, oh, if I'm going to have it, I want the whole thing. I want it to make the noise, I want the light up, I want it to do all that. I'm sorry, Daz, I've just been reminded by chat you're not allowed to spend any money. Yes. All right, OK. Chat, chat every time you see Daz, doesn't matter where he is, if it's on Google+, Plus, I don't care where, in a hangout, just remind him. I thank you, chat. I thank you. They'll look after you. I will. Don't you worry. Our chat's good, our chat is. <laughs> We've got the best chat. We have, definitely. Without a doubt. The definitely. people that come and watch us live... In our chat, we've got the best chat without yeah. any shadow of a doubt. Definitely. Without any shadow hey, of a doubt. I need to interrupt you again. You've got one minute 30 and cats wagging our finger. It's time for the credits. Is it? Yep. Crikey. I know. Well, that has flown by. That has absolutely stuttered by. At such a rate of knots, it's unbelievable. Mm. I cannot believe how quickly it's on flown by. I'd better say the thank yous. Doug, Super 7, thank you so much for coming to join us. Enjoyed it. Viewers Corner which yeah, alternates cool. with Vendor's Corner. Mm -hmm. Sav, thank you so much for doing the wonderful job that you do. Daz, brilliant to have you with us again, as always, and That's you're not always. bad. Kat, <laughs> thanks for the job in there. From all of us, bye till next week. Bye! bye.
VT Talk was sponsored by Vaporworld, introducing the straight-up range of e-liquid from the USA containing real tobacco extracts.